First and foremost, I give all praises, all honor, and all glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, Ba'ashim HaMashiach, Yahushai. Welcome back to another Quick Scripts. I believe this is episode 17, if I'm not mistaken. And let's get right into it. This is Job chapter 2 and verse 9. Then said his wife unto him, Does thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive the good at the hand of God and shall we not receive evil? So Joel's wife, he's explaining to her the good that you get with God. You got to also take in the bad things, right? When you start getting chastised, when you start going through that furnace of adversity, right? He shut down that demon, right? Let's keep going. It says, in all this, Job, did Job not sin with his lips? This is the, the, the catapult to why I'm doing this lesson. Because I was thinking, I was like, hmm. Imagine you're going through absolute hell through your life, right? Everything's going wrong. Your car's breaking down. Your bills are piling up. Everything's going wrong, right? And a lot of men, they fold. They curse God in their heart. They say, damn, you know what? I don't want to serve you anymore. They start they start going back into their sin. They start casting away the truth. Like, bro, wh why? Like, like, you should read Job and really get in the spirit because i'm like man i was meditating on this i was like man it says and all did job not sin with his lips so first of all you're not going through as much trouble as job is going through bro job you know how much job went through and he did not fold up he didn't he didn't sin god he didn't curse god with his lips right even when his spouse the love of his life said curse god and die he didn't do it right so we have to look at this and get in the spirit and realize whatever we go through let's not be taken with our lips let's not sin with our lips let's keep going it says this romans 8 and 35 who shall separate us from the love of christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or pearl or sword right so it says that's a rhetorical question who who's gonna separate you from christ shall famine shall men shall the affairs of this life shall riches it's it's a it's a it's Let's keep reading. Verse 36. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, so hell no. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. So we got to start moving differently, bro. And, and, and it was on my spirit to do this lesson because no matter what you go through, bro, there's no excuse for you to give up. There's no excuse. You have the utensils. Let's keep going. This is Ecclesiastes 15 and 11. It says, Say not thou, it is through the Lord that I fell away, for thou oughtest not to do the things that he hateth. So you can't just go and point fingers at the Lord and being like, Lord, the reason why I'm falling behind is because of you. You can't do that. Because it says, For thou oughtest not to do the things that he hateth. Your dumb ass should not have been doing, you knew you shouldn't have been watching that, bro, but you disregarded the Lord's words and you went into it. And now you got now you got an addiction harder than you had it before. These are things that we have to realize. Like we have to keep pushing and keep striving in this truth. Another scripture, Proverbs 24 and 10. It says, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Mm. It says, if thou faint in the day of adversity, when you when you have to stand up for the Lord, right? When you go through trials and tribulations, if you faint, you, thy strength is small, bro. You're weak. It's like, this is the thing. This is the thing. We have to be preparing for the day of adversity. That's what I'm trying to do every day. I'm trying to get my faith up every single day because I know I'm going to need that in the future. So we got to remember, if you faint in a day of adversity, your strength was weak, man. So let's, let's, let's now be, let's prepare for that adversity and overcome it. Another scripture, Jeremiah 17 and verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it it says i the lord search the heart i try the reins even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing so the lord knows what you're thinking man he knows if you rock with the lord or not he knows if you're battling and really trying to really purge out that demon he knows this man so this is why we have to and and, and that should be a level of comfort like if you're truly for the lord you're gonna know like man the Lord knows I'm fighting. I'm going to keep fighting, Lord. Oh, Lord, you know that I, I have a sincere apology when I pray, right? You have to have confidence in this, man. You got to know that the Lord knows what you're thinking, man. 
And on the flip side, if you being wicked, the Lord knows what you're thinking, bro. You're not you're not secretly being in the truth and uh, getting away with all that stuff you're thinking. Like, no, you have to cut that and purge that out. But let's keep reading. It says, Sirach chapter 4 and 28. It says, strive for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee, right? So we should have a, a, a go get it mentality, man. It says, strive unto for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for thee. So when we strive, when we have a vision, right? When we can see the kingdom of heaven is near, when we can see how Christ walked and how our forefathers walked, when you have that vision and you lock in it, bro, Lord's going to fight for you, man. The Lord wants to see you win. And that, uh, that should be the title of this lesson. The Lord wants to see you win, bro. He's not going to let you just fall. But the only reason why we fall is because we want to do our sins. We want to cast off the Lord's help. That's why you're falling so much. We got to keep locking in. Ecclesiasticus 21 and 1. My son, has thou sinned? Do so no more, but ask pardon for thy former sins. So this is also a key, man. When you do mess up and when you do, uh, you know, get buffeted, repent. Just repent, man. Don't get prideful. Don't think you just don't lose. Don't be faint hearted. Like, like it said before, Proverbs 24 and 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Don't be the guy that doesn't repent for his sins, bro. Don't be him. You Be that man that when he falls, he instantly repents. Be him, bro. Be him that when he falls, he gets right back up. We know a just man falls seven times, so let's but gets back up. So we have to get back up, man. This was in, this has been a pretty long, it's a quick script, so I'm gonna end it there. And with that, we give all praise and honor and glory to the most high God Yahweh by Shem Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Keep enduring and keep being in this fruit of the spirit. It's been your boy, Soldier Zion from SJ Tulsa. Shalom, shalom.